So I left the car at 20 after 9, right here. It's 25 after 11, I'm right here. My campsite's at Thunder. Making good time. So I'm really happy with this thing so far. It's a Catadyne uh, B3 it's called. It's a one liter collapsible bottle with the filter right inside. So anywhere there's water you just fill it up, drink right out of it. Don't feel like carrying the water. Empty it out, toss it in your pocket, man. Wicked product. Happy with it. Aunt and uncle bought me this for my birthday. It is solar charger. And I tell you, I am so impressed with it. I put it in the sun, it was down one bar. So the far right one is the green light comes on when it's charging. And then I've lost one bar so far. It was full, but my phone is almost full charge again. And when it is, I'll unplug it, put this thing back in the sun for about maybe half an hour, hour tops, and it'll be fully charged again. So, I got my phone the whole time, and that's pretty wicked for pictures, and I picked up cell reception at one part of the trail, so I text Dan quick, and yeah, and I lost it again. <laughs> oh, look at that throne. <laughs> it's a wicked seat. Hey, Vince, when you see this, got old faithful with me <laughs> so the story behind this watch is last year me and Vince went on a portage trip in Algonquin but neither of us remembered a watch so a uh, guy at the Outfitters gave us this bad boy still ticking <laughs> keep the tradition alive eh well I gotta say I'm very happy with this first thing got my tarp pitched over here with I'll well, sit up in here and uh, wicked view of the lake waiting to see if I can maybe get a couple nice sunset pictures fire's going got a decent pile of wood it's about 5.30 I want to call it early tonight because First night's a little mental battle, <laughs> but we'll be alright. Well, I officially made it through my first night. Got some water boiling. I'm gonna make myself a coffee, like a little coffee press. And some oatmeal with some peanut M&Ms. The Joe Robinette special. <laughs> So I got my camp all packed up, got my solar charger out, getting the last bit of sunlight I can get before I'm on a trail. So yesterday I started here, came up to Thunder. Today we're moving up to the loft right here. And if it goes like it did yesterday, I should be there in about three hours also. So leaving here at 10, I got 45 minutes.
this tree grew in. Put that all the way up. It's the second day. Just passing the second loop into the third. Just got past Rainbow Lake. My camp set is on a loft. Which is... I'm here. Loft is next. Alright, second camp, made here, pretty much the same amount of time as yesterday, three hours or so. It's actually a little more of a distance, I think, than the first day, but either way, got my secondary tarp set up. It was calling for rain, I wanted to be safe. I got some dry wood under here for if I gotta use my twig stove to cook my breakfast tomorrow, then I don't gotta worry too much, I can sit right on that table or whatever it is. It was out here when I got here. And then my tarp set up, it's more enclosed and uh, lower to the ground just in case wind or rain, so we'll see how she holds up. Well, we got some rain now, but we're prepared. I got my tarp set up, sitting under here on this bench. Everything under here is dry, and it will be tomorrow, plus some extra firewood to get my breakfast going. Plus tomorrow after I am packing up to leave, pack everything up under this tarp, just so I'm not getting rained on if it is raining, and then uh, pack the tarp up last, get on the trail again. Well, I lucked out, got the fire going again this morning, having some mountain chili for breakfast, because I got a big day today, and I got my coffee. After I've done that, I'll pack everything in the bag, pack the tarp, Well, here's quite the crossing. Slow and steady. Alrighty, I'm about halfway done my day. I started here at Loft. I've come up, down, cross. I'm here now at this portage crossing. I'm going up that way. And my camp is on Islet. This is Islet. I'm going to try and get as far around this bend to the last campsite just to make more progress. And then I'm officially on the return trip. Oh, nature. Quite the dam.
Island Lake is the lake I'm staying on tonight. My biggest day, but I crushed it. I left at eight o'clock this morning from Loft. And I made my way all the way around here. And I am up here. As soon as I round this, this is Islet Lake, and I'll now be working my way back to the trailhead where I started. Feels good. Oh, made it to camp three on Islet. 17 and a half kilometers I did today. Got my tarp set up. A little more room in there tonight because it rained on me last night, but the tarp was too low and letting the sleeping bag dry out, but she's pretty dry now. And I've also got my little setup over here, wicked view. Wish there was a little more sun, but what do you do? And uh, got a little fire going, stuff drying out because it was a wet one. And a little setup. Yeah, today was a rough day. I uh, had a little bit of a mental problem and uh, I think I was dehydrated or something because I needed to sit down. I was starting to get really lightheaded and I was like, okay, slow it down, Jake. So I ate some peanut M&M's, drank some water, and feeling a lot better now. The trip so far started here. Worked my way up here to Thunder was the first night. Second day, I worked my way up here to Loft. Today, 17 and a half kilometers, I worked my way all the way up. I rounded the bend, and I'm at this last campsite on Islet. So now I'm officially on my return trip home. Tomorrow I will do a nice smaller day, 10 and a half, 11 or so, to Clara. And there ain't much more after that. I got Maggie for another night, but I'm contemplating making this trip after uh, Clara straight to the car. But after today, 17 and a half and how I felt, I'm not sure if I'll do that yet, but I'll judge it when I get there. Well, I survived day three, on to day four. Day three was a rough one. Got my boots drying off a bit because they're soaked. Water's boiling for the coffee. And today, we are right here on this last campsite. We're working our way down through here. I guess there's a lookout, so maybe a cool picture. And into Clara which uh, in total I think is only 10.7 kilometers. So, nice easy day after yesterday.
Stop to get some water at a campsite on Fincher. I'm at the second one here. About 500 meters, I will cross the second loop and I'll officially be done the third one. Heading back home, and about three kilometers is my camp. So today was a nice, slow paced day, but still ahead of the game. There it is. I've officially made it back to the first loop up here in Islet. So I rounded this yesterday, stayed the night, came down. I'm here and I'm down on Claire for the night. Feels good to be back in the second loop. So I'm feeling rather good today. I've made it to my campsite at Clara, but it is 12 o'clock. I've got my twig stove out. I'm making myself up a nice coffee, some lunch, and I believe I'm just going to completely bypass Shada and do this 9.2 kilometers down to Maggie. If I can do that, tomorrow is just over nine kilometers out. And I'll completely bypass the day. See what I can do. Pace myself. So, from way up here, you can't even see it on the map. In the third loop, part of the loop, I broke into the second. I've already worked my way down to here which is actually bringing me back to the first loop. Well, I am officially back in my car. Fourth day, I completed the entire 75 kilometer loop in four days. I left Islet this morning. I was supposed to camp at Clara, I got there a good time, 12 o'clock. So I said to myself, you know what? I'm gonna skip this site and I'm gonna push all the way down to Maggie. I know nobody's gonna be there really, maybe one or two people. Because I did a mock booking before I left to see how many people were in the park while I was and there was not many. I actually didn't see anyone for the past three days. Only on my first day did I see someone. I got to here at about four o'clock. I had three hours a day late left. I said I'm going for it. I made it all the way back to the car at 
7 o'clock roughly just as the sun was going down I am shaking I am beat my back kills my feet but something in me just pushed me to get home <sighs> what a trip man